These changes have caught some local businesses and other groups who serve the public by surprise. After all, the governor had previously extended the statewide mask mandate just a few weeks ago. Besides Andy Cohen live downtown in the Springs after hearing from business owners, managers about how they're all adapting to yet another change, Andy. Yeah, that's right, Rob. Well, all these businesses really want the same thing. They want to protect their customers. And while some of them say that they're ready for this change, others say it'll take a little bit more time to adjust. At Solar Roast Coffee, where the beans are roasted with Pueblo sunshine, these announcements easing mask requirements are a bright spot in the story of the pandemic. We just want everything to kind of get back to normal. Whatever the CDC says, you know, we will go with it. While her staff is fully vaccinated, they still plan to wear their masks when they serve you. They hope that unvaccinated customers will follow the recommendations and continue to mask up. We are not requiring our customers, you know, to prove their vaccination. If you are fully vaccinated, we'll honor that and you can wear no mask in here. That same honor system will apply for YMCA members, but parents should know that some groups of kids will still have to wear masks even under the governor's new order. And the kiddos between 11 and 15, we're still going to need them to wear masks during sports um, and during our child care programs. The policy changes are coming quickly, and there is signal that the governor has faith in the state's growing vaccination rate. But it's a lot for small businesses to keep up with. We have to take everything day by day, month by month, because we want to make sure we're doing the right thing. Terra Verde was one of many businesses that asked customers to wear masks even before the statewide mandate was enacted last summer. Co-owner Carrie Baker said that they'll continue to ask customers to wear masks for now because they want to treat everyone fairly. Because we want to make sure that um, we're, we're not going to be the people that are uh, making this COVID continue on and on. We want to get back to normal. And they're not alone. Many major retailers like Target, Home Depot, and King Super's parent company Kroger announced after the CDC decision that they're going to continue to ask customers to wear masks in their stores. So what about going to church this weekend? Well, it's probably best that you check with your individual house of worship to see what kind of requirements they may still have in place there. And a reminder that in Manitou Springs, there is still a local mask order that's in effect. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Andy Cohen, News 5.